everyone on today's breaking news. There are two main issues regarding to the fake identity, the online predators, and the online fraud. For the online predator, children and teenagers nowadays go more online. They have a direct and immediate access to their friends, their families, and especially the strangers, which can put the unsuspecting children at a great risk. Often we have an image about a sexual predator lurking around the school playground and hiding behind the bushes, scoping out their potential victims. But the reality is that nowadays are the sexual predators sitting behind the computer screen and taking the advantage of anonymity that the internet offers. Arisa, a college girl chatting with an online guy through the Twitter. Regardless of the danger, she may be at risk. A few moments later How can we prevent this from happening and what's the message that parents need to understand? They need to really be connected with the children, educate them and talk to them with the reasons. They need to be mindful of the devices that they have bought to them. They have to be sensitive to the conversation when a child says, I have to go meet somebody I've been chatting to online. These are the important flags that the parents need to listen to. Another incident is about and online fraud. These days, e-commerce are playing an important role in our daily lives. Millions of people are now shopping online. So it's no doubt that there are some people 
trying to exploit others by using this opportunity. In this case, a notorious serial fraud to the Marung Tip just got arrested again after her latest crime. Her strategy is frequently posting on well-known websites that she has concert tickets of popular artists that were already sold out. She seemed to be reliable because she also posted her contact number or sometimes even her ID card. When a customer called after making a transaction, she would say she's not available to meet them, then go disappear. There have been hundreds of people fell for her tricks, and she even made a million from it. Not only this to the marring tip, but there are also many other scammers going around online trying to commit a crime. So please be careful. In this case, a notorious serial fraud. Keep in mind that before you do any transaction, make sure that you are dealing with reliable websites or retailers. Check who you are dealing with. Find the websites showing whether the company is registered with Chamber of Commerce or at least ask for the retailer's personal documents like ID card in case of any bad events happen.